Hi everyone, this is Super Galact, and I want to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is Tom DeLong. And the reason why I want to talk about Tom DeLong is because I just a while ago listened to Guy with Stephen Greer being interviewed by uh, Billy Carson. And they was talking about Tom DeLong. And basically what I got out of the interview is Tom DeLong is a joke. That's just plain and simple. Tom DeLong is a joke. And the reason why I say that is because he can't even tell when he's being lied to and being set up. And I look at it this way. If you're in a situation like that where you can't tell whether when you're being lied to and set up, you need to just leave it to the big dogs and let them do the research. Because it's obvious Tom DeLong doesn't know what the heck he's doing. He'll listen to anybody. He'll take the bait, hook, line, and sinker and actually believe that the ETs are a threat. Because that's one thing that I do agree with with Stephen Greer. I don't believe that the ETs are a threat. And another subject that Stephen Greer was talking about was the whole fact of the ETs shutting off the nuclear power plants. You know, you got the media talking about how when the ETs were doing that, that it was a threat. But see, that's not true. What the ETs are doing is they're shutting off our nuclear power plant because they realize just how dangerous that really is. See, what I'm saying is the ETs don't want us destroying our planet. That's the reason why they're shutting off the nuclear power plant. It's for the simple fact that the ETs don't want the human race destroying our own planet. That's the reason why all this narrative that they're putting on the media about this whole UFO stuff, they're not telling the truth. And I believe that Stephen Greer is telling the truth. I was, if you watch my other video, you can probably seen a video of me saying Stephen Greer can't be trusted. But after I've done seeing Stephen Greer be interviewed on Guy, I'm, I'm really believing that Stephen Greer is telling the truth because they're spinning the whole narrative about this whole UFO subject. That's plain and simple. Uh, another thing Stephen Greer was talking about is Project Mockingbird. That's got everything to do with the media and how the media says, says the same story. They're constantly saying, we don't know what the UFOs are. We don't know what the UFOs are. Yes, they do. Don't let them fool you when they say they don't know what they are because they do know what they are. But they're not going to tell you they know that. They're going to spin this whole narrative making you think that they don't know. But really, they do know what they are. So don't be fooled there, folks, because they do know what they are. All this stuff that you see, these Tic Tac stuff that you've been seeing in the media, that's man-made. I mean, they are some... ET UFOs out there. I'm not denying that. They really are. But these Tic Tac footages that you see in the media, that's man-made. It's our industri military industrial complex that are making these aircrafts. So when they tell you they don't know what they are, they're lying to you. They know what they are. They know these are man-made UFOs created by the military or industrial complex. They know that. That's what Dwight Eisenhower was trying to warn us about in his last presidential speech. He knew this kind of stuff would end up happening, and he was trying to warn us about it. But you've got a lot of people, they'll 
they'll believe in different things because they don't really fully know what's going on. And I'll even admit myself, I don't fully know everything about this whole UFO stuff. But I'm learning. I'm learning to do my own research and really be careful who I listen to. If I feel like somebody's giving me a bunch of lies, then I'm going to shut them out and, and, and be able to discern who I can believe and who I can't believe. And I just don't believe Tom DeLong is being given the right information. He's being lied to and being set up, and he can't even discern that. He can't even realize that that's what's happening to him. He actually believes that the ETs are a threat, and I don't believe that. You know, when you see all this stuff about the whole nuclear power plants being shut down, I even immediately got the message that there was concern about our planet, and they don't want nothing bad to happen to our planet. I mean, this whole Space Force stuff, I mean, you don't, you don't want nothing bad to happen to people and, and the planet. I, I'm sure people that watch this video could agree with me on that. We don't want to be so warlike where we, we destroy cities and we destroy human lives. We don't want that. We want to save lives. We want to keep casualties from ever happening but with this whole space force not only are we destroying our own planet but we're destroying other planets as well because that's what's all going to lead to if we don't change course we're not only going to destroy our own planet but then we're going to go and destroy other planets it's going to be a whole planetary war scenario and we don't want things leading up to that that's the reason why i don't get caught up in religion and all this eschatology stuff because all they're about is doom and gloom and just causing all kinds of wars and and i'm just trying to get people to realize we got to get out of that mindset we got to reach our consciousness and we're never going to reach our consciousness if we got a warlike mindset. If we got that, we're only destroying ourselves. And we got to change our whole mindset. You know, uh, you got people like dictators. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a right mindset. And they're out there killing their own people. It's not about we the people anymore. It's about getting what they want. They're control freaks. A lot of people in our own government, they're control freaks. They want to control the narrative. And a lot of presidents uh, ain't being read in to a lot of this stuff about UFOs. None of our presidents are. And we just got to realize if we if we think we're gonna gonna get our government to tell the truth or get the media to tell the truth, they're not gonna do that. We're gonna have to make up our minds and get to the point to where we gotta stop depending on the government to do everything for us. We gotta step up to the plate. And do all part. That's that's what my whole YouTube channel is about. Getting people to do their part. Because we don't need the government to do this stuff for us. In our minds we think that we do need the government. And that we do need religion to do this stuff for us. But we don't need that. We have the ability to do this ourselves but we got to get that in our minds we got to get that in our heart we got to get that in our whole being that we can do all this all by ourselves we don't need any of that but too many people depend on religion and government 
when we could all do this within our own power. We just don't realize it yet because it's been embedded in our mind that we need the government, we need religion. We, people claim to that stuff. And it's just the mindset that mainstream religion and government want us to be in. And we got to get out of there. We got to unplug from the bishops, plain and simple. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And all of y'all have a good day. See you later.